Hello everyone, we are back for Final Fantasy Tactics, and like I said, um, we will discard all 44 of our high potions. So now our characters will use X potions for their... for their, uh, auto potions. We're not using Mustadio right now, but we can give him that Mithra gun anyways. Yeah, Kavo's currently holding one. Um, probably the first one I got. And I did all my abilities with everyone. I don't think I got any more equipment. Nope, okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna move on. Okay, the walled city of Yardro. You're gonna see why I want my heavy X potions. My X potion auto potions. So in between episodes, I ran into Marak, the uh, Hell Knight. Although I don't think he's called Hell Knight in this anymore. Are they still knights, Rafa and Marak? They might be. I don't remember. These two. Do, 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 do. They have a pretty interesting backstory. And their classes are terrible. <laughs> Rafa can be manageable, but Marak is like... I don't want to, I don't use the phrase, man, this guy's got awful very often, but man, is he got awful. He's a mage based on low faith. I mean, it's not a bad gimmick, but, but I mean, it's a mage based on low faith. Okay. So you can probably see why I'm like, oh, I really, really, really want X potions as my auto potion. <laughs> Ninjas. Three of them. And summoners. It's ninjas and summoners. If this were a boss fight, it'd be completely unfair. Technically, technically Marok is a, a kind of boss, but... So let's look at these two real quick, as I always do. Skyseer. Okay. So, Skyseer, an assassin able to bend the laws of nature by speaking the words of Forbidden Sky Mantra. Sky Mantra. Skyseer, <coughs> excuse me. Skyseer job command attacks with a power that does not rely upon faith. Yeah, it does. She does rely on faith for her magic. Netherseer, Marok, he's the one that doesn't do... Okay, anyways, um, he's the one that needs low faith. Okay, uh, Marok, an assassin able to corrupt the laws of nature by speaking the words of forbidden Nether Mantra. Nether Mantra, uh, Nether Seer Job Command, attacks with a power that does not rely on upon faith. Yeah, kinda it does, it needs low faith. Cute gimmick, terrible abilities. Rafa will probably cast hers here and you'll see, you'll see why I'm saying it's terrible. Now, I don't think I can sling a spell in there that'll do anything. No. This is a weird fight. It, It's like we have one door in. Yeah, she's going to cast it. Um, <clears throat> at least Rafa runs away in this one. So, here's the thing. Rafa and Marok, their magic... Not only is it, like, Marok's really weird, they both have, like, randomized spells, essentially. And you'll see them here. And there's, like, I could... Just for, for speaking of things to steal, it's like, um, Japamala I might need at some point. Don't care. 
Like they're using maces. That's the that's the one balancing point for that ninja. Is he's using maces. They suck. I mean, there's not really anything on any of these characters I really want. And we are going to keep Saluko in the back, though. Oh, these summoners are probably going to... Okay, she can't. She might go for me. For my character. No. Nothing. Maelstrom. Oh, she actually did something. Oh, and it missed. And it missed. And it missed. She did a thing. But she missed, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> God, I hate these abilities so much. Okay, whose turns are coming up here? Ninja. Ninja. Me. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad to run ROMs are right in the middle of this place. Um, is he wearing... what? What? 15, 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Evade. I don't want to risk that. I'll kill a ninja. At least to try to kill a ninja. Come on, Ice 2. Damn it. So the, the law of the... The law of inverse ninja power does apply in this fight. <laughs> Ninjas, they're great if you have a character that's a ninja. Wow! They've almost got her dead. That's amazing. But yeah, um, ninjas... They're great with one character. If you made a team of five ninjas, it would not be the best team you could have. I'm not gonna lie. I just want to get some JP off of an attack. <laughs> My whole goal right now. Shoot some gas in that doorway. Okay. <laughs> Wait, that's where the fire spell's hitting. Okay, that'll work. That'll work for healing her up. Run away. Okay, good. Oh, there's a fight later on where she does not run away, and you have to save her. It's the most annoying fight in the game, because it's right after, like, the most difficult fight in the game. I good at magic. I'm not good at magic right now, this character. I need I need a mediator to build my, my character's faith up before he'll actually be good at magic. And then I might switch to Time Mage. One. Two. Three. See, so, like, it can be super effective if you're super lucky. Oh, also, I just undid all the damage. Yep. Also, I think that's what's ratcheting my camera down every time they cast it. It's like the most repellent class in the entire game. I don't use the word repellent very often, so you know I'm being serious. Mm, not worth it. All the females are far away. So let's, uh... Is Marok tries something against her. I doubt he will, but you never know. Here comes the pain for Ramza. I did most of it. Oh yeah, Marok. You know it's gonna be great. You know it's gonna be great. I can't even hit you with a rock. God damn it. <laughs> I have a Thunder Rod, I think, right? Whatever. 
Yeah, she defended, and I'm like, that's the best thing the summoner did for me. Because as soon as she undefends, it's like, oh no. Ruby Light? We get to see adorable Carbuncle. Oh, he's so cute. Super effective. Hatch going one-on-one -on -one with another ninja. Let's have Alba kill summoners. You know, I think if you kill Marok, the battle might end. But I'd rather see all of his works torn asunder. So this is the more common summon for enemy summoners to do. Probably the most common, in all honesty. They all do it. It's like just when the enemy uses a potion on themselves. Darn it. <laughs> well, at least, he, at least he hit himself. Also, those used to roll like one to three on their chances, and now they're like four to eight, I want to say. And they're still, still freaking garbage. Cool in concept, though. I also ratcheted the screen down again. Like I said, cool in concept, but ultimately it's like they just don't work. I mean, like this matters. The fight's gonna be over like next couple turns. Now, <laughs> I think. There it is. Okay. Um, what's my time at? 15-ish minutes, so yeah, we'll call it. Um, so we got Rafa as a guest. Um, she'll be a guest for all of two more fights. And then, uh, she'll, she'll be in a really dumb fight. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, oh, wait. Here's Marok the Frog coming up. Hopefully I remember to leave this thing in. I forgot this little cutscene. It's Marok the Exploding Frog. This is so cool. It's like, this is not an ability you see in the game at any other point. And it's like, that's what a mage would do. Send like a little familiar in to do this, to threaten her and say, go to Rio Van's castle. And then... <laughs> oh, why is he not that cool in the game when he's on your team?